Hello everyone. Well, as you can see, I'm wearing my retro cassette shirt today because I'm going to be showing you a vacuum cleaner from the era of cassettes, the 1980s when cassettes really took off and people were wired for sound with their Sony Walkmans or if you were poor, some generic personal cassette player from Argos on your hip. Well, Argos sold personal cassette players at the same time they were selling this this i believe this electrolux elite was from around 1987 and we can see from the box how 80s the cleaner looks very angular styling was the fashion of 80s products i seem to remember vacuum cleaners were very angular they had a lot of lights on them, bells and whistles. Well, some of them did. And also cars of the 80s were quite boxy and angular. And then the 90s came along and things started to get a bit more curvy and organic looking. Vacuum cleaners lost the sharp edges and started getting curvier, as did cars. So this is a product of the 80s. And as I said, I think it's from 1987 or thereabouts. Yes, the popular catalogue showroom Argos would have sold this machine, or certainly they sold the red one. I remember seeing the red Elite. There were two Elites, the red basic version and the white electronic, which is what I'm going to show you. Uh, whether it's white or not by now, I don't know, because this cleaner might have gone a bit yellow, as white plastic tends to do, doesn't it? So, anything else to look at on the box? While we're here, you know. Well, not a lot. We've got a bit of writing. It's model Z1700 Elite Super Electronic 9009347-01804. 240 volts, 50 hertz. And I put my scissors away thinking I wouldn't need them, so I better go and retrieve them. Okay. Right, well, this was packaged inside another box, obviously, another eBay purchase. I've undone the outer wrapping, it wasn't very interesting. So it was protected during postage. And we can have a look. Well, we've got some uh, imitation bags by Storaline. I have checked on eBay, you can still buy genuine bags for this, and I will buy myself a few genuine bags, but that's the cheapo generic one odd color yellow okay let's have a look there's only a couple of pictures uh, you see mm-hmm <laughs> they say the camera never lies well it has in this case always be wary when someone takes a photo of a vacuum that's still wrapped up in plastic because you can't properly see it and uh, I think the listing said it hardly had any use. Well, that nozzle makes a liar of the seller and the seller is a hospice. So, you know, as long as the cleaner isn't smashed to bits, I'm not gonna complain and ask for some money back from a hospice, am I? I'm not that cruel. So they can still have the full amount, but yeah. Looks a decent nozzle. And I've certainly seen this nozzle on other machines. I wonder if it's a Wesselwerk. See if we can see the telltale Wesselwerk sign. No, we haven't, I can't see it. This is made in France, this Electrolux. Not Sweden, not the UK. France, for some reason. Plastic ones, being the deluxe version, you'd think that they would have given you a couple of metal ones, wouldn't you, to give somebody more of a reason to upgrade oh what's all that oh dear right honestly it's <sighs> i might have some of these or might be able to get them that's been taped up so this cleaner that looked almost new which is why it went for i think i paid for this about the same price this would have sold for in the 1980s but that's clearly broken. 
but I have a feeling these look just like the ones I've got in a toolkit, an Electrolux toolkit that I could spare. So I think I might swap those ones. So they look they're possibly 32 millimeter diameter. So I'm all I'm already up going to wonder if that vacuum isn't going to be as good as it looked in the listing. We've got traditional. Well, it's a three lug fitting. Electrolux end with the old uh, rubber seal or gasket but again yeah lots of muck in there and then the other end well that's uh that's odd what is that for goodness's sake oh that's all it is it's almost like uh, part of a, a wind instrument isn't it that's the uh, suction relief. A bit similar idea to the suction relief valve Hoover used on some of their cleaners on their Aria, Vogue, Galaxy. They had a suction relief trigger where you had to keep your finger on it while the suction was being reduced, opening up this little flap and then release the finger for full suction again. So that's what that is. First time I've seen that. So maybe that particular handle is unique to the elites these are possibly not actually made by electrolux i'm not sure and i understand um, this was available under the volta brand in other countries well there's some instructions there for wiring a plug oh dear it's been thrown upside down and yes it's a lot more used than the seller said you know i'll give the seller the benefit of the doubt they might not have deliberately misled. I mean, there's no point in misleading people when you're selling something on eBay because they're going to know, aren't they, when they get the thing? And yeah, well, it is quite mucky, but I'm pleased to say that it doesn't look discolored. It's it's still pretty white. I mean, it's going to clean and polish up pretty well, but. Um, it's oh what's that moving about inside it's certainly not as good as i was expecting anyway let's have a closer look at this uh, electrolux elite i do like the styling of this it is it is very very 80s it just screams 80s the angular styling the font here elite and even the way that the exhaust vent angles out like that it just it just looks so 80s i can just see an 80s housewife using this machine with the uh, vo5 styling mousse in her hair dancing about to bucks fizz duran duran or whatever but yes not as good as it looked on the listing looks good in my viewfinder maybe maybe it looks good on your device if you're watching this on a big tv in 4k it might not look so good but at least it's not discolored i did notice and i'm not sure why we have these stickers on the on off switch i don't know what that's about i did notice that in the listing what i'm going to do folks before fingering any more of this cleaner or handling it should i say i'm just going to give it a bit of a wipe and I won't bother polishing it. I'll just give it a bit of a wipe and then we'll uh, venture inside and have a look at the condition of the bag housing. Okie dokie, I've just given it a wipe with a wet wipe and a very brief polish with some furniture polish. And you can see the potential for this cleaner looking a lot better. There's several marks on it that uh, wet wipes will not remove. It's going to need a proper clean uh, tea cut I expect, scratch remover, a few coats of final polish after it's been cleaned and yes it's going to look good. It's very similar in size to the the compact from Hoover that would have been around the same time as this. I think by 87 we were into the boxy Hoover compacts. So here we go the Elite by Electrolux. Very Hoover Compact-esque wheels, although they feel a lot stronger 
and they have survived being posted so that's good obviously that's the exhaust vent we've got cable entry a plug that's much too old for this cleaner I'd say but it's a nice old plug which will suit one of my older cleaners I'll put something a little bit more appropriate for this era but it's a, yeah it's a good old traditional I'm sure it's made in England it says Empire I'm just holding it a bit closer 13 amp 250 volts just says Empire on it fused I, that'll be made in the UK in England I suspect so that's the cable so here's the control panel photo operated on off switch photo operated automatic cord rewind it's got a pink tinge to that I don't know if that should be pink or somebody's got a crayon or pink felt tip on that this being the electronic version we've got the slide control so we can lower the speed it's a bit stiff that might need a bit of looking at 400 watts up to an amazing 1000 watts that was about standard for this era maximum suction maximum wattage a thousand watts and then the wattage started creeping up steadily now this is either a blanking piece that would have housed a neon either mains on light or bag check light possibly when this was sold in another country or it could have been a blanking piece for perhaps a power takeoff socket might get some clues of that um, when I eventually open this up so a bit further up here on the back door we've got super electronic 1000 watts and of course the elite logo here's your piston style bag check indicator and then we've got here a silent salesman sticker and as you can see most people didn't bother removing them I used to go into people's houses and their washing machines would still have the sales sticker on and I'm thinking why didn't you take that off it will look so much better without but we get a bit of extra history with this so nothing sucks like an Electrolux not sure if that's true ask Monica Lewinsky so it says elite super electronic powerful 1000 watt motor sliding electronic speed control flex rewind large 6.5 liter reusable dust bag and dust bag check indicator free Electrolux five-year parts guarantee now that's uh, something that Hoover did as well they offered a five-year parts guarantee but only a one-year labor cost so after the one-year guarantee was up if you needed any service you'd get the parts for free but you'd have to charge you'd have to pay the uh, labor charge so that's the uh, top of the cleaner of course it does stand on its end for storage cleaning stairs as well I suppose yeah it's okay to have it on this uh, in this position when it's in use because you can the, the vent is still there it'll still exhaust out and like some cleaners that would have the exhaust vent underneath it could restrict the airflow certainly some hoover cleaners did that sensortronics I can remember if you put them on the end I think there was a warning saying don't use them on the end for a certain period I can't remember how long it was it might have been 30 minutes on the back we've got your swivel caster with typical of Electrolux the rubber tire is perishing on this oh ha, right and it's perished right in front of our very eyes because look it's coming it's coming off let's just take the whole thing off and hopefully I don't know I might be able to get something oh that's just gone very hard and brittle Ooh, it's not gonna yeah that would have that would have happened anyway we've still got a wheel but it's probably not gonna it'll be okay on carpet but yeah I'll have to keep an eye out to see if there's uh, a spare part I can buy but obviously if it's an original spare part a spare can suffer from the same deterioration I recently got two filters for my Hoover Vortex the seller must have seen that there were dust in the packet there was clear packets and basically they sent me two packets of black dust 
I've got to contact them for my money back, actually. They were £3 each. Right, let's have a look at the old rating sticker. OK, so this says Electrolux made in France, model Z1700 Elite Super E, product number 909347. Serial number is 8042166. I think the 47 in the product number denotes the year 7, so it is 87. And I think the 4 is the month, so this, I think, was made in April. 1987 it says number 444 240 volts 50 hertz 1000 watts nom okay well we've looked at uh, the outside let's reveal how filthy this is on the inside because i don't suppose the seller even opened it up to have a look to access the dust bag there's a black push button here one thing that this could have had, and I'm sure it doesn't, no, there's no tool storage. And I've just realized I've no small tools. This would have come with three small tools. It didn't have the famous Electrolux butterfly tool, combined dusting brush and furniture nozzle. This did have three tools, crevice nozzle, a furniture nozzle, and a dusting brush. It's possible I can find out the style of those and buy them still. Um, either new or used so yes here we go <laughs> dirty we've got a date wheel let's have a quick look at the date wheel if it's, it says anything well it's it's uh, got dots and the dots are go up to seven so again I'm, I'm sure that's the year 1987 those this can only be cleaned properly actually submerging that in hot soapy water and using a brush so that's what I'll be doing but what delights what delights have we got in here well that's something <laughs> Craggy, is this is this from the 80s this is something I remember Glade drop-in vac you can still buy this sort of thing but I think this is possibly the first of its type basically it was a bag filled with some fragranced powder used to drop it in the dust bag of your vacuum ah oh, glade drop in vac remove inner sachet and place in vacuum bag well <laughs> for some reason they've placed it in there oh look we've actually got folks in my humble hands we have a genuine original glade drop in vac do not empty powder from sachet johnson wax limited What's that? Frim, Frimley Green Camberley in Surrey. Should I dare put it towards my nose and give it a sniff? It's got. A, it's still got a bit of smell. Shall, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I know it's ridiculous. I'm gonna keep it, folks. I'm gonna keep that. We have. Again, I don't know why it's inside the dust bag compartment, but we've got a little instruction of how to fold the dust bag and slide on the clip, which doesn't look original to me. Something else I've spotted, which is going to fall apart in my hands, I'm sure, as soon as I start handling it. Ugh. Well, they put a bag in, a new bag, but yeah, that doesn't quite know, and I'm sure that that's something that you get in stationers of the time. That is not the proper bag slide. I'll have to go online and find one. And, oh, perhaps, hmm, is this the proper bag slide? It's even smaller. Yeah. Well, we'll just pop that back for now. It's not really doing anything. And yes, look, it's dirty. It's dirty. I don't know what that is, a bit of paper. And here is the laughingly called filtration. It's gonna it's gonna crumble, it's gonna crumble folks. But at least this won't stain because it won't be covered in carbon dust. Because I've made the mistake in the past of getting these filters out of machines when they when they're put on the exhaust end. This is the sort of thing you'd normally see on the exhaust end. This is more of a diffuser because it's so coarse. You can see my hand through it, look. 
so it's not going to really keep much dirt from the motor so ooh, what's this I'm going to uh, fit something a little bit more appropriate oh look <laughs> we've got one of these no smell to that that's an Electrolux air freshener I think it was in a green leaf fragrance but this folks I'm not going to turn the cleaner on with this in because look this is what age does I've got I've got plenty of this stuff this sort of material maybe a bit denser than this I can just cut to fit and what I might do actually I'll use some of this I've got some exactly like this it's aquarium filter material I think I'll cut it to size but what I might do as well is on the top or underneath put another filter maybe cut a, a Miele air clean filter as well it's not like it's not going to get used is it much this and then the motor will be behind that black grill okay before I switch on folks I'll just uh, vac out the mess inside and also vac up that and then we'll turn this on <laughs> Okie dokie, well that'll do for now. Pop this bag back in. Yes, I think, I think the first thing I'll do is get some uh, proper bags. There's a little doobry here, folks. Correct term is doobry. Just a little fail-safe feature to prevent anyone trying to use this without a bag because if you do... Hang on, how does that go in? Oh, that way. If you do try to put the bag door back on, you can see that little yellow tab sticking out and they're going, oh, I can't use it. I want a new fangled bear disc cleaner. Well, no, you need a bag, folks. So slot it in. Ech. Right. It'll do for the initial switch on. This all needs cleaning and that uh, seal isn't quite seated as it should one two three I think that's all I have to undo three screws here to take the motor hood off because pretty sure the exhaust filter will have perished so we might see stuff coming out of this vent when I switch on I'm assuming at least the seller did switch this cleaner on before uh, putting it on eBay so I'm gonna risk it folks it's less live dangerously on this channel instead of cowering in the corner when I plug a vacuum in I mean oh dear hang on well I'm not gonna live that dangerously that is very loose so I'm just gonna check the plug is wired up correctly at least before I plug this Electrolux Elite in well folks, I made the usual mistake of not fitting the cable clamp onto the outer insulation. It was holding the inner live and neutral wires, at least they were in the correct terminals, but it had a 5 amp fuse in it. So that possibly could have blown. Should be a 13 amp fuse really on an appliance that goes up to a thousand watts. And this is one of those plugs and people of a certain age who used to wire up plugs will know the feeling. This is a plug that you need to pass the bare wire through into the top of the plug before you wire it up. Most plugs weren't like this. You'd wire them up and then you'd fit the top on. But certain plugs, like this one, you had to make sure, and I can't remember how many times I did that and realised, oh heck, it's one of those. And I've also been reminded of the fact that I'm pretty sure in 1987, I was working in curries and I had to put plugs on for dear sweet old ladies who couldn't do it themselves and 
you always used to say when they bought a kettle or a vacuum cleaner, do you want a plug? <laughs> it's hard to believe that we had to fit our own plugs. It's, you know, it's a dangerous thing, electricity. And the general public were expected to know how to fit a plug. And most people knew roughly, but often they didn't know to do it safely. So I used to take pity on the whole deers and fit a plug on their Morphe Richard's iron or whatever they bought. Um, they had to pay for the plug. I wasn't that generous. But yeah, oh, those were the days. I'm quite happy that that's wired correctly. I'm going to start off on 400 watts. Now, it might come on, it might not. We'll see if any crud, any bits of filter come out of here. Okay. Here goes. Right. <coughs> no, that doesn't sound right. If this had not been a hospice, I'd have been on to them say that. I mean, uh, <sighs> that doesn't sound right. And I don't, I don't want that to run for much longer because I just had images of flames coming out the back. So if you missed out on this auction, if you were thinking, oh, damn, somebody else got it. You, you didn't miss out on much because this is going to need quite a bit of work, I think. I don't I don't want to. I don't want to put this on again. Well, oh, be brave, Roger, be brave. I don't know how much, it didn't feel like there was much suction. I suspect that the motor is absolutely caked in muck. I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to read what, uh, what the listing said about this. I'm gonna be brave and, and start it off on a thousand watts. It won't, it won't have soft start. I wouldn't have thought. But that motor doesn't sound right. I've no idea what they should sound like, having never owned one, but pretty sure that that's not normal. Some sort of growling noise. Ooh. Oh, I thought, oh crikey, what's that noise? It's just the noise of the cable winding itself in. Oh. I mean, I'm due another explosion, aren't I? I've not, you know, touch wood. Have I got something wood here? Yes, I've got smoke. Touch wood. It's been quite a while since I've had any fireworks or shocks or it could just be this stuff. This stuff that looks very like the fake skin on a six million dollar man doll. You have to be very old to know what I'm talking about. Um, it might be that because I think that's the sound. It's So actually it might not be as bad as I first thought. It could just be that bag making the rubber seal, you know, vibrating. Put the hose on, it might disguise it again a bit. little less a uh, little less concerned now um, if you've got one of these does it sound it's hard to tell via a video doesn't it a lot of people say oh that vacuum's too loud 
and I say turn down the volume on your device it'll get a lot quieter then you can't judge the sound of a vacuum from a video just like you can't judge the quality of a loudspeaker that someone's showing you on a review because it depends on the speaker of the device you're watching the video on I'm going to do this and it's not very powerful I can't I can't see this going up to 80 it doesn't feel as powerful as a a pneumatic Henry we, obviously it's not it's got a new bag in I have vacuumed the exhaust filter a bit and it has no pre-motor filter at the moment but we'll we'll have a look just out of interest and if I do get to refurbish this we'll do the old suction test on the refurbished one I don't think we're going to get a huge dramatic difference to any model I refurbish it might make a little difference but not much okay let's see what this uh, in its current state measures on the old suction gauge well that was around 68 very mediocre so all in all well you know fairly disappointed with this because of the various things wrong with it but if I'm lucky I might be able to get myself two new extension ones because that's definitely broken with all the black tape on it and you never know I'm pretty sure I've seen nozzles like this on eBay it looks fairly generic doesn't it I mean it'll it'll clean up I mean it's not this is not clean up. I want to spend a lot of money getting it to look like new again it's not one I'm, I'm sort of attached to it's not one I had you know in my youth like many of the Hoover ones that I, I want to really get looking as new as I can but it's an interesting machine and it is very 80s to finish the video folks wake up come on you could you you can sleep in a minute right i'll just push the nozzle over the carpet for a minute and uh, that'll be it for the electrolux super electronic elite folks even vacuum cleaners from the 80s don't like my plush pile saxony carpet yes well come on let's get the mains cable out of the way do your final rewind for now oh, come on oh Typical French, can't make the effort. They're always sluggish on the French made Hoovers. Must be a thing of the French. They don't like, they don't like their automatic cord rewinds to be very effective. Well folks, that's the end of today's video on this 1987 Electrolux Elite Super Electronic 1000. You might see this again, you might not if you do see it again it'll be a lot cleaner and shinier it'll have an original bag in it'll have a pre-motor filter and hopefully i'll have a set of small tools to show you as well and uh yeah this needs a bit of tlc but on the whole not as good as i was expecting but it didn't turn out too bad in the end thanks for watching if you've any comments or questions about the Electrolux Elite please comment below and tune in very soon for another video I expect it it'll be of a vacuum cleaner I can't tell you what it might be an upright cylinder bagged bagless corded or cordless or I might throw in a washing machine who knows 
So stay tuned for more exciting appliance fun. Bye for now, and thanks for watching if you've stayed to the bitter end.